Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel and blog. I'm Jenny Hall. Thanks for joining me for another card making tutorial. Today I'm stamping with Magical Mermaid stamp set for one of my team members that had a recent accomplishment. I have pre-stamped and clear heat embossed my image to save time on the video. I'm using a clear acrylic block and ink refills in the colors of Berry Burst, Wild Wasabi, and Crumb Cake. By dripping the colors down onto this acrylic block, which is also being used as a palette, I can add a couple of drops of water with my aqua painter to be able to grab and dilute the color as needed. This is an easy way that you can repurpose your own craft supplies to be able to use them in more than one way. I have this mermaid already set up to go and am putting down wild wasabi ink. One thing that I always consider whenever water coloring or for stamping as that matter is that all of the colors of ink are used to mix up and make other colors. What I mean to say is that when we take one ink color such as wild wasabi, that ink has many different base colors that were combined to create wild wasabi. So when this color is diluted, oftentimes I will see other colors come out of that one particular ink color. For example, if you look at the wild wasabi on the mermaid's tail, there's definitely a look of yellow that is inside that nice beautiful green color. I'm getting many different shades of green all from the one color of ink refill. The mermaid's body is being colored in with crumb cake. Crumb cake is typically used for stamping with brown colors in mind and it does carry a nice brown tone but if you look on the clear block, you see that when crumb cake is diluted, it brings out the green colors that were used to create that shade called crumb cake. This might be a little bit too technical for a normal card making video, but I want you guys to be aware that when you're making your color choices, you can make a strategic color choice based on knowing which colors go together naturally. After fussy cutting this beautiful mermaid, I'm using the fine tip glue pen to give a glossy sheen over the area of the hair and the mermaid's tail. I'm not going to put the, the glue on her body parts that are just flesh because I don't want those to be shiny. But her mermaid's tail will be especially shiny. Floral Phrases has a beautiful sentiment that is written in a nice cursive script that will fit the area of the card that I'm desiring and it says congratulations which fits perfectly for my team member. Here is a panel that is colored only in crumb cake ink I used it on glossy paper with some rubbing alcohol to dilute it and then I took the stamp from Mermaid, Magical Mermaid and did gold heat embossing. On the reverse side of the mermaid, my son and I drew a face on the mermaid because he was a little bit bothered that he could not see the mermaid's face. He's six years old and he needed to be indulged so we together put a mermaid face on the other side of the paper. That's one thing I'll always remember about this card. To create a tiara for this mermaid, there's already an area on the stamp that has for a headband or tiara. So I've taken a doily and cut away a part that has the same shape and then added that to her head with a few small sequins. 
here is another section for the inside of the card that's cut away from the panel that I created for the front. Thank you all for joining me for another card making tutorial. Be sure not to miss the exclusive content I share only with my customers. You can become a customer by clicking shop now at jennystampsup.com to make your Stampin' Up! purchase. I truly appreciate all of your support. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching the video. See you next time.